Hello everyone, my name is Keith, and in this video we're talking about the top 10 tips and tricks for the Mavic Mini. This is a free video that I'm putting on YouTube, but this is also part of my courses that I have on courses.aerialguide.com. And this is a free course that I have just a getting started guide, and I'm also including a LUT pack and my uh, printable PDF pre-flight checklist. So that is a really requested item and I'm really happy to just be giving that away to you guys for free. So go to courses.aerialguide.com. I'll leave a link in the description and you can sign up totally for free and get all that stuff and access to the other videos. So without any further ado, let's get into my top 10 tips and tricks for the Mavic Mini. My first tip for the Mavic Mini is to get close. Since this drone is so small, it's easy to fly close to things and it's really capable of getting some unique perspectives. However, since this drone doesn't have obstacle avoidance like some other drones do, it is really, really important to not just recklessly fly towards things thinking the obstacle avoidance is going to save you because it totally won't because it doesn't exist on this drone. That doesn't mean you can't fly close to objects. This does really well flying close to things because it doesn't displace that much air because it's so small. Just be sure not to fly too close. One thing to note, the Mavic Mini does have downward facing sensors. So if you fly too close to something and the sensors are on, the Mavic Mini will actually fly up. So if you are trying to fly between a very narrow opening, be sure to turn or be in a mode that doesn't use the downward facing positioning sensors. My second tip for the Mavic Mini is to choose the right camera settings. Well, as right as you can. The Mavic Mini's 2K camera isn't the top of the line, but it is still really good. It is capable of getting images that can rival the Mavic Air in broad daylight. In lower light situations, it will struggle more, but at this price point, you can't really complain about the image quality coming from the Mavic Mini. There are no custom video settings or picture profiles on the Mavic Mini, but you can still color correct or even color grade your footage if you absolutely nail your focus. I'd recommend underexposing your footage slightly to make sure the Mavic Mini isn't boosting the ISO too far. A frustrating part of this drone is that right now, the camera doesn't tell you the settings even if it's on full auto in video, just the overall exposure levels. Hopefully in a future firmware update, this will change and DJI will let us manually choose what settings our camera is shooting at though. My third tip for the Mavic Mini is to take it with you everywhere. The small size of the Mavic Mini and that it folds up into a size that is just about the size of my cell phone allows you to take this pretty much anywhere. If you're looking for a lightweight drone to keep in your bag until you need it, this is definitely the one. My fourth tip for the Mavic Mini is to teach others to fly. One of the great parts about flying drones is that it's a hobby that can easily be shared with others. Teaching others to fly is a great way to introduce them to drones and the Mavic Mini is one of the easiest drones to fly. Bonus points for having 360 prop guards to really ensure safety from any angle, which brings us to number Five. My fifth tip is to fly indoors with the prop guards. The included prop guards with the Fly More kit offer a ton of options to fly safely indoors. Just remember that these prop guards will make your drone over 250 grams, so technically you'll have to register to fly in the United States if you add more things to your Mavic Mini. My sixth tip for the Mavic Mini is to stay away from strong gusts of wind. The max this drone can fly in sport mode is 30 miles an hour, and if you go up too high and the weather changes above you, it could be gusting of up to 20 or more miles an hour. So if you are in sport mode, flying into a headwind at 30 miles an hour, but the headwind is 20, your drone will only be flying 10 miles an hour, and it will be burning through a lot of battery doing so. The Mavic Mini does a really good job of just regular wind under, I'd say about 15 miles an hour gusting. I was really surprised at how well in the air this was able to hover and not really affect your footage that bad. If it's gusting over, I'd say 12 to 15 miles an hour, you'll start to see your drone bounce back and forth when you're watching your video back. But as light as this drone is, it does really well on average windy days. 
My seventh tip for the Mavic Mini is to get familiar with the quick shot modes. And right now that is Drony, Rocket, Circle, and Helix. In my experience, the Circle quick shot mode is by far the most useful and less gimmicky of the quick shot modes. But they can be fun to tinker around with. I find myself mostly using Circle mode. And just a tip while you're in Circle mode, I found that it does give you better results while you are a little bit farther and looking down at the subject. My eighth tip for the Mavic Mini is to minimize interference. Since the Mavic Mini has a Wi-Fi transmission system like the Mavic Air, minimizing interference between the remote controller and the drone is very important. While the enhanced Wi-Fi transmission is better than the Mavic Airs, the Mavic Mini may experience dropouts if you're flying in congested areas with lots of interference or metal objects around. But with that being said, I've experienced less dropouts with my Mavic Mini than I have with my Mavic Air, which is surprising considering my Mavic Air is almost double the price of my Mavic Mini. My ninth tip for the Mavic Mini is to edit on the go with DJI Fly. With the DJI Fly app, you can make simple edits to your footage quickly, getting your content out there. This is great for users that want to just edit on their phone quickly and not have to upload their footage to a computer. I have saved the best tip for last. My 10th tip for the Mavic Mini is to slow down and underexpose your footage to get the best results out of this camera. While you're unable to manually change the video settings on the Mavic Mini, you are able to get some great looking footage with it. Taking your time and slowing down your movements will give you better results than flying fast and quickly moving the gimbal around. For the most part, this is true for all drones, but due to the limited video capabilities of the Mavic Mini, when compared to higher end drones, it's especially important. I've found that slightly underexposing your footage and boosting it a little in post will give you a cleaner overall picture. If you're not looking to color correct your footage though, properly exposing your shot is your best bet if you want to edit your footage in the DJI Fly app and just push it to the internet quickly. A few bonus tips about the Mavic Mini I found while using it was to make sure your prop screws are tight. The props on the Mavic Mini use a screw instead of a quick release prop. So make sure your props are tight and undamaged before flying. In my flights, they have never loosened or given me any trouble, but it is definitely something to be aware of. I was nervous when I opened up the box and saw screws and a screwdriver. Thankfully, there was no assembly required and all of these props and screws came installed already. And I double checked them and they were all tight from the factory. But if I ever had to change these, I would definitely make sure that they were tight before I was going to fly each and every time. And I would recommend that if you damage one prop, you just replace both of the props at the same time just in case there's like a hairline crack in the other one that's not really visible, but is there. Another tip for the Mavic Mini is to set a safe return to home. The Mavic Mini doesn't have any obstacle avoidance and it cannot reroute its path due to obstructions. Setting a proper return to home point free of obstacles is really important. And my final tip for the Mavic Mini is to use a clean landing pad whenever you're taking off. The Mavic Mini has cutouts in the bottom of the drone. The cutouts in the bottom of the drone are really problematic because sometimes you just have to take off in a dusty or dirty environment. A landing pad will really help you here and ensure that you are taking off from a clean surface every single time you fly. So those are all the tips I have for you right now. If I have any more, I will make a separate video in the future, but those were the ones that I was just running into and I can probably go into each one of those tips and make an entire video about it. So this was just a brief overview of my tips that I think everyone should be using when they're flying the Mavic Mini. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is part of my Mavic Mini getting started guide, which also includes my LUTs and PDF uh, pre-flight checklist that you can print out and have in your bag with you every time you go to fly. Having a pre-flight checklist for me is important because there are a lot of things that you have to remember, not only to bring with you, but make sure the drone is charged, make sure the remote is charged, and all this stuff that really doesn't get thought of when you are you know, just getting home from work and you think, oh, I wanna go fly my drone, I'll just take my backpack and go fly. Well, there's a good chance you might forget something or you might not even know what airspace you're going to be flying in. 
to check to see if it's available to fly. So having a pre-flight checklist is a really good way to ensure you're always flying safely and also not forgetting anything. So if you'd like to see more videos and get those free downloads, be sure to go to courses.aerialguide.com, sign up for the completely free Mavic Mini course, and you will immediately have access to all of those things. So thank you for sticking around to the end. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one.